This launching was done together because we see a lot of synergies between agronomy, uh, processing and uh, value addition. So we plan to work together these two uh, tax forces. Specifically, the Rice Processing and Value Addition Tax Force draws its membership from eight countries that are involved in the uh, CEDA funded project on uh, policy and new rice products plus um, Benin, which is the host country for Africa Rice and um, works closely with us in these areas. Uh, we are hoping that in future we'll be able to have still joint meetings between these two tax forces and uh, we'll be able to coordinate our activities closely. Because from our point of view, we think these are two different disciplines, but when you go to the field, it is just the farmer doing the agronomy, the farmer doing the harvesting, the farmer doing the processing. So we are dealing with the same people here. So this is why we think that these two tax forces um, should work very closely together. But the Benin also has a lot of technology to diffuse on the level of the sous-region and on the level of other countries and members of Africa and RAS. Even if we are not members of Project Cadi, we have already seen the ways, indirectly, through our transfer of technology, how we can work with other countries, such as the Cameroon, tels que la Sierra Leone, comment on peut amener, comment on peut participer à ce projet-là. Donc voilà globalement quelques jours de travail qui a été fait. Le souhait c'est que dès 2012, que ce groupe d'action soit vraiment fonctionnel et que on sente le développement et la compétitivité de notre riz local par rapport au riz importé pakistanais, etc. So this meeting was an opportunity for us to uh, look at uh, what aspects we will be developing in our various countries, especially when it comes to rice quality uh, improvement and marketing. Uh, we we had we looked at various uh, uh, technologies that we can develop along the rice value chain, and we thought that it was uh, important for us to go back to our various countries and try to share with uh, different stakeholders on uh, what we have learned here and how we can develop our rice uh, sector to be more performant uh, in the future. Je pense que dans toutes ces euh, écologies, nous avons des, des technologies disponibles générées par nos, nos, notre recherche nationale et qui peuvent euh, servir de base pour euh, ces hubs, ces zones de concentration et également à partir de ces zones de concentration, nous ferons en sorte que les producteurs puissent s'approprier de ces technologies et assurer une amélioration de la production musicale. Euh, je ne peux que me féliciter de cette rencontre, ou encore de ce lancement des groupes d'action, qui, j'en suis sûr, est une opportunité pour le développement et les écoles dans nos pays. This is, I, I think, this is a good chance to change our mind about rice production in Africa. Also, this is a good chance to exchange our knowledge from the developed country for the high rice production, looks like Egypt, to other country. Then we hope that to success, and I think all of us, this is meeting is very useful for us for when we back to my home to thinking about how to raise rice production in Africa. I think they have a lot of knowledge. How can they start to raise the rice production in their countries? This is, I, I would like to replicate this is meeting for different country for rice production. La réunion avait pour objet d'arriver à valider pour le groupe d'action un plan, un plan d'action pour euh, les trois années à venir. Ce plan d'action a été bâti autour de trois thématiques euh, essentielles. Le diagnostic des contraintes et de la situation de la riziculture dans les différents pays. Le diagnostic ou le, le, le suivi des, des écarts de rendement entre le rendement potentiel que l'on peut obtenir avec les variétés que nous avons et le, le rendement actuel. Le, le, le baseline ça dit pour nous permettre après trois ans de pouvoir faire une, une étude d'impact pour savoir exactement quel a été l'impact du, du, du projet et la mise au point l'inventaire des technologies pour, dans, pour créer un basket de, de, de bonnes pratiques qu'on peut intégrer dans 
mais dans le hub sur lequel on va travailler. C'est pour dire que le, le projet, le, le, le groupe d'action va travailler dans, dans un hub qu'on appelle un secteur de développement de la résiculture où un ensemble d'acteurs, les autres groupes d'action seront pour faire beaucoup plus de synergies. So I really enjoyed these, uh, these three and a half days. Uh, good spirits, I think. Uh, I, can, I can feel that we are forming a, a tight group. So really 2012 will be the year of action where we start running with these task forces. I think it's very important that once more the two task forces that we brought together here are working together. You need to think of everything from land price creation to varietal choice to the seed quality to how you did your weeding up to when you harvest, how you store your rice, and what is happening in the rice mill. And that brings me to the concept of the rice sector development hub, which is quite new, uh, with funding from the Syngenta Foundation, as I said earlier this week. We have two of these hubs now running, one in Senegal and one in Burkina Faso. And um, the idea there is really to work with thousands of farmers rice processors and people who want to buy the rice to ensure that we have sufficient quantities of the right quality of rice available in due time. And we are now in the first year of that and uh, we see some uh, successes there already. So I hope that through this starting up of these task forces and working together in, in rice sector development hubs, we will have a lot more impact uh, in terms of rice sector development uh, on, on the continent. It was reiterated many times here, training is going to be very important uh, in these task forces and the task forces themselves will be vehicles for capacity building. These task forces are space for young scientists to grow and, and, and to give them the opportunity to learn in the field and become, I hope, all-round agronomists and all-round post-harvest experts. Uh, I've got also the message that we need to capitalize on uh, results obtained in the past from the, from the task force approach. And, uh, I think we may want to write a paper on that to make sure that we uh, learn from uh, the successes and failures. And this meeting that allowed us to launch two task forces, the agronomy task force and the rice processing and value addition task force. We'll meet again in 2012 here. We'll meet again for sure in the field in your respective countries probably first of all in the training courses that we are uh, planning early next year.